Previously on the longest day vlog, I took Nedi to school. I went to several government offices for some official stuff. I took you around the lovely city where I live in and I went to a fabric shop and bought this nice summer fabric. I'm now on my way to the tailor shop to get it made for me so I can rock it this summer. Still on the same day, eh? Before we start, please, can you take a second to click the like button? I want to check something. Thank you. This life, eh? This life is so tiny. It's so small. Like, the lady, I just left the, the fabric shop. So, the lady that sold the fabric to me, we were just talking and she just said that this life is just a hanky like it's a handkerchief meaning that this world is so small because as i was about to leave her shop the woman waiting for her turn she was the next to be served and uh, i recognized her even though she was wearing a mask but i recognized her as one woman that works in a in one of the government offices and this government office if you want to get married you go there just the the public registry that's where she was working and if you want to get the nationality from nigeria like to, from being a nigerian to being spanish you will go there as well it's the same office so the lady that sold the fabric to me told me that there's a tailor shop here where i can i can make my clothes there are people there so let me wait and see if she can make it for me and see how much they'll charge me before I run away. This will be the first time I'll make my clothes here anyway. Uh, what was I saying? So I recognized the woman and I called her by name, by her first name, because this woman is so kind. This woman was just doing her job, you know, being nice to people, not rude to people. But while her colleague, even though you can say, okay, she was just doing her job, there's nothing special there. But because uh, in contrast, her colleague is so mean, if you're in the queue, You'll be praying not to get that woman that's not be attended to by that other woman. So in contrast, she looks like an angel, even though she was just doing her job, you know, with a smile, which is how people should do their jobs. But, you know, she just was a bright light in that office, shining. I had a long chat with her. In fact, we spoke for 15 minutes because, <laughs> ah, oh my God, it was so fun. Like she was hugging me that I recognized her. I was telling her, you are so popular amongst foreigners like we all love you that everybody knows you by name they are like a mother to us like when people are going there for anything they will be praying to to, to be attended to by you i asked her if she still works there because it's been a long time i went there she told me that she has retired now that she retired just before the pandemic oh my god and do you know that we started talking and started talking and it turned out that this woman is neddy's classmate's grandma <laughs> this classmate's grandma that like this girl i love this girl so much because of the she's so smart one two the way she smiles you know this kind of smile every time you see her she's smiling and you know this kind of smile that reaches the eyes and i also know her mom so it turned out that i know this woman's daughter and her granddaughter <laughs> We were just there chatting and the more we knew about each other the more we found out this information about each other the more the more she hugged me like it was like she saw her daughter today oh my god it was such a warm feeling inside why am i seeing all this in this life there's nothing in this life nothing uh you know when people come and tell me you're so nice you're this i like the way you treat people and all that in this life i always say it we are just marking time so imagine all the, the, the kind of memory this lady created in the minds of all foreigners in this country. Because once you go there and she attends to you, you have this warm feeling as you leave the office. Even if, you know, what you came for did not work out or something like that, at least you know that somebody tried their best to help you out. Somebody did everything in their power to, to help with your kids. So we should stop treating people like trash. I'm always like about the other woman that it's, the complete opposite of this woman. I'm always like, why Why does this woman work here if she hates foreigners so much? I mean, this job puts you in direct contact with foreigners. Why can't you ask for a transfer? Because if you see that woman, you will know that she is not happy. She's sad, she's a sad woman. And the, her quality of life must be really, really poor. You can't be working here where you'll be issuing people with nationality every day. These are people you don't think 
you think they don't deserve the nationality and yet you're working in a place where you're the one issuing and stamping nationality because if somebody quali is qualified there's nothing you can do about it so in this world there's nothing like making people feel good you know uh, when people meet you they feel good and you create warm memories i mean what as soon as i saw her I, I like i i had this warm feeling inside of me because of you know the kind of person i know that she is i've come in contact with her several times and all those times i tell you it's the same story she's such a nice woman and every other person that comes in contact with her and you know because it's civil service job they are there for a long time like i was asking her if she, if that's where she worked all through her career and she said no that she worked there for 14 to 15 years so you can imagine how long you'll be working in an office and creating these impressions on people so you can imagine the thousands and thousands of people that met her how they feel about her the kind wishes they will, you know the prayers the kind prayers they'll be saying for her i mean there's nothing to it there's nothing to it because you know when when we are good to others we're also good to ourselves at the same time yeah it's not like you're doing people a favor by good, being good to them. When you're good to people, you're happier as well. So you're doing it for you, really, at the end of the day, not for other people. So anyway, welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> I have to go into the fashion shop now, to the tailor shop now, to see what they will say, how much they will charge me. Now, wow, one simple style that I want to do with this, my fabric, it's sleeveless, so that will get to the neo. And the lady said, there's no style, eh? it has a few buttons, like track buttons in front. And the woman said that it's uh, 95 euros. <laughs> Somebody pressed the calculator on 95 euros for me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Here in Obodo Ibo, if you are, you have a skill, like all these skills that we look down on in Nigeria, in Africa, like tailoring, carpentry, like all these special skills, huh? you'll be making a killing. Uh, even though it may not be, like when you check it, it may not be a killing, killing like that because they, they already know how many hours it, it will take them to do this. So. They calculate it based on the number of hours and the, the amount of work that needs to be done and you know that here they use patterns to sew clothes so they're going to make a pattern just for me and then the, uh, for me just for me and the style that i'm going to make before cutting it and all that so so she said it's 95 euros and it won't even be ready uh, till middle of july that's what she told me we're now in almost the end of may <laughs> she says so may june july so let's say two months that's when it will be ready yeah but i i completely understand that this is not a one this person is very qualified before you open this kind of tailoring shop here <laughs> you have to be very very qualified it's not the one that they do in nigeria where they Somebody will just wake up and say, I want to be a tailor and start sewing and destroying people's clothes. <laughs> no, not that one. So they are qualified for real. First of all, that and two, yeah, they have to get it right because if she destroys your clothes, she's going to pay for it. Now, wow, the speed I take come out, man. I'll just keep my material. Either I sew it myself or when I get to Nigeria, I really like the fabric. When I get to Nigeria, you can imagine, I bought the fabric 15 euros. Now I want to use 95 euros to sew it. So, such a simple cloth. That's why fast fashion will never stop. <laughs> because this kind of style that I want to sew now, if you see it in a fashion shop, like a fast fashion shop, if you see it though, because the problem is seeing what you want. There's a seat here, those that are waiting for people. There's another woman at the supermarket, at the shopping center where that our campus supermarket is. Maybe I'll take it to her and see how much she will charge me. That one can sew dinner clothes. She sews dinner and uh, uh, wedding clothes, like something like that as well. So, 
<laughs> anyway, I'm sitting here waiting for Ned. I'm just sitting across her screen. Waiting for them to dismiss in 10 minutes time. How was your day? Good. Yeah. I got a 9.8 in English. You got a 9.8 in English? Yeah. This is your teacher. He never gives you a 10 in English. Only, only a He's always deducting. Only the what is he doing with those tiny points that he Only cheese is uncountable. And I, and I circled there is a few cheese. Instead of the cheese. Instead of Carmen hasta luego. Instead of what? Instead of circling, there is a few cheese. Can you tie your shoes first? Instead of uh, every day. Instead every of circling. Day. I'll stop buying uh, this thing for you, lace shoes for you. I'll start buying Velcro for you. No, that is for kids. It's for kids, thank you. Eh. But in the morning, you had to stop and tie. Now you have to stop and tie, so it's time to buy Velcro. <laughs> she doesn't like Velcro. <laughs> so instead of circling, there is a little cheese. I circled, there is a few cheese. A few cheese. How yeah. can you say a few? Because it's for countable, and cheese is uncountable. 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 I don't know. I mean, my, my teacher says uncountable. She says uncountable. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do Okay. Arina, do you say flour or flour? Flour. flour. Some people say flour. I think the Americans say flour. It depends on the English she's teaching you guys. They said flour. flour. It sounds like flour. Yeah. She's teaching you British English. Are you sure? Yeah, because that's group terms. Oxford, right? Oh, so I don't know whether they're mixing the two. I don't know. Anyway, apart from that, your day was good, no? Sweetie hard. Sweetie hard. I'm going to go. See the beans. Let's put on this right. Perfecto. What's going on over again? Ete. Ngwa. Mountain must be removed with a soaky. This mountain must be removed with a soaky. This mountain must be removed with a soaky. <laughs> Baby, my dinner for this woman, Tata. Anna, we man are history. I for me, I go to fabric. My boy by name. Hey, we just wait, woman. Our. I seen na nandi mo na mapi all the time na. We boy boy ya for like that. So okay, come on, man, sit over for me. You a very nice woman na. Hobi hobi, the can't see his own water. Okay. So, I'm going to wait for 15 minutes. Eh? Imana, baby, it turned out na that woman who grand Makira. Okay, Makira class in there in primary one and two. Come on, Makira. It's going to name Makira self. Oh, I don't know, grand I'm going to come Makira self. I'm going to come English na. I want to teach his English in nursery, in nursery school. You see why I don't decant the water? If you know, okay, go. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to So, I'm going to tell you, grandma. No, no, I saw Kira's grandma today. Where? 
where I went to buy fabric. Kira's grandma. Kira's grandma. Kira is no longer in your class, right? No. Which sex toy is she in? Sex toy. Sex toy. You see how what happened? That's why I don't decant the water from this thing. Because it rises so fast. By the time you're now drinking it, it will be so soggy. Madre. It is chaff. Chaff. That's fiber, not chaff. It's good for you. Hmm. You could drive in. Oh, it's near retired. Good. Near retired just before COVID. We do this every day. I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Through the I know how I look You're not hungry again Go and eat also I'm not hungry Put on that light for me So what do you want to be doing now? Go and sleep on one don't touch any computer there. See, see that that apathy is still there. <laughs> that apathy. One baby, what did where did Peter B go to today? Put Peter B. Let's watch. I can do well, sir. Quara. <coughs> That is the expression that is driving me more out. I'm able to figure out what to do to understand that the country is collapsing fast. And unless something is done, we'll consume all of us. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you? Have you? Online registration has ended, but you still have till 30th of June 2022 to physically go to a registration center and get your permanent voters card that's pvc they say it's continuous voters registration so why does it even have a closing date eh what about those who will turn 18 between the end of june and uh, the election date next year why is our own always different in other countries whenever you turn 18 you go and register to vote i hope they extend this thing though because it doesn't make sense to me this pvc serves two main purposes you guys know that Peter B is now the presidential candidate under the Labour Party. It's our opportunity to try and fix our country so that all these insults, visa denials, ah, even if you carry your money, they go deny you. All these visa denials by other countries can stop. I can't count the number of people in my inbox asking me how to apply for and get a Spanish visa. Anytime I upload a Spanish blog, I get a lot of people asking me these questions. Nigeria used to travel visa-free to all these big, big countries, UK. Let's put a man who has shame, Bikono. A man who will not steal our country's money to stupor. A man who knows how to make Nigeria prosperous. The second job of this PVC, this one concerns Igbos, especially those of you that will come to my comments now and tell me, no, Nigeria, it's referendum we want. If they call you to come and vote in a referendum today, and you don't have your PVC, you will not be able to vote to, till we get Biafra. We are still in Nigeria. So go and get your PVC before they call you for referendum now and you won't be able to vote. In fact, if they want to deal with us now, they can call for referendum tomorrow and they know that a lot of people will not have this PVC. And then they will say, hey, we have called you for referendum, but you didn't have PVC. Now you do yourself. Oh. So what do I need to buy? Uh, a book named Hamlet. Is it English book? No, Spanish. Like, is it Hamlet uh, by Shakespeare? Yes. By the Spanish version? Yes. Uh, how do they translate that um, Shakespeare? Shakespeare uh, English to Spanish? It's going to lose the... Only English. it's... Um, I want to it's a adapt it's an adapted version of it. Okay. Check it on Amazon now. 
of Gary for me. Hey. You have basketball today? Yes. What time? Six. Go and sleep. Huh? Mm-hmm. Are you finished? Why did you get up from your seat then? <laughs> I don't want to sit here. Uh, do you know I got uh, 10 in math in my math exam? I 10. Yes. Any? I have 4 and uh, 34. And it's with uh, 35, I think, in language. 8.35. Yes. Hmm. I 10 in math. That's the one I'm interested in. You see? I see what. You can now give me his laptop. I cannot give you his laptop. <laughs> no. This thing doesn't have anything to do with giving or taking laptop. This is not the reason I took control of the laptop. It's not the reason. I know the password. I'm sure it's five zero seven with you. Hey, I got one. No. You see that the password that I used to lock that computer? Ah, is that one? Nobody can crack it. Which yeah, one? it's not Oh, you know it. I hope you know it. Eh? I know it, of course. I'm the one that set it up. But don't even go there to start trying no, it, the all computer, these four, the computer, four letter passwords. The computer can lock. Oh, I'm just saying it so that you understand. 
that I listen to you, okay? That you listen to me? Yes. <laughs> I'm with the math something. Mm. I think I need to just watch the video. Which video? That video sent me. Mm. Yeah. The SAT, SAT exam video I sent you since. Yes. That you are promising to watch now. How many years ago did I send that video to you? 85 years ago. Zero. <laughs> Ned. Yes. Can't sleep. I'm not tired. I'm not feeling sleepy. But if he lies down and rests now, you sleep beyond his basketball time. Two hours later. Hello, everyone. Gotten off from siesta. And. I oh, need to come and wash this place. Oh, it's These children. Be fast because I want to cook now. So. I'm going to cook. Achicha. <laughs> Achicha, achicha, achicha. Look at it. It's now soft. See? Where you touch it, it will be. It breaks. My neighbors are building something in their house for the past three days. Thank God they didn't do that at siesta time today because they usually did. We need to do ba, 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 ba. it's almost 6 30 now. No time for vlogging. <laughs> you see our TV, it's still there. Hopefully, probably we'll, we'll see this TV in the vlog and remove it from this house finally today. <laughs> we do this every day. And I'm still so amazed by you So how see there Now watch magic happen You see this mountain of spinach This is uh, 900 grams of spinach because I'm using Three packets. Each packet is 300 grams. So, 900 grams of spinach. Look at the mountain. I don't know if you can see it from that side. Wait. You see the mountain? <laughs> the mountain of spinach. You will see how small it will be when it's done. This spinach contains a lot of water. A lot of water. It's uh, maybe 90% water. <laughs> this is the beans remaining. Put it in the freezer for another day. Yeah. yeah, that's how I prepare beans for two servings because I can't even cook one serving of beans in this my pressure pot. It will not get to the minimum, so I cook for two servings and save the other one in the freezer. See River Niger. If you have never seen River Niger, look at it here. <laughs> you see how that water came from this. Mm. Have you finished your assignment? I don't have. You don't have? I told you. You told me? Yes. When? I think I had a time. Come, 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 come here. Yes, I did. I just told you. Yeah. Have you read your book today? Like what you did in school today? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When? When you told me. When you were recording this video. When I was recording this video? Yeah. How many hours did you read? You don't count it. Yeah. I'm trying to send a message that it's not been long that I started recording this video. So there's no way. You would have read anything. And once once your brother came back from basketball, you started talking with him. This is vegan. It doesn't contain any seasoning. I mean, this, this meal is so healthy. Just salt and onions and enough palm oil. That's what you need for this to be tasty. Very traditional meal where I come from. 
Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Done. 7.30 p.m. Food is ready. So, I can go and relax. <laughs> Look at it. It is ready, ready, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. Yummy. I love this meal so much. Have you ever had it? Have you? Have you? <laughs> if you remember our grocery shopping video, Nedi said she needed cardboard sheets for a school project. She has now finished making it. Yay! Is that elastic? I can give you elastic, you know, it's better. Hey, to injure you, eh? Lady made a pirate hat <laughs> with eye patch. Well, roll like a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do it. Like a pirate. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To sit another way of ventilating mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. by resorting to violence, destroying mm -hmm. properties and mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that must replace this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. One of the epicenters now. We ended this long day watching Nigerian news. As we all know, a lot is happening in Nigeria right now and we spend most of our screen time trying to be abreast of what is happening back home. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button. Have you? Have you? I don't remember to ask this question in my vlogs. A huge thank you to those who like even when I don't see it. Bye-bye, see you soon.